The solar electric three-wheeler is presently being finished by the startup's designers and engineers. Aptera is still searching for funding to start production of their solar electric three-wheeler, which was demonstrated in production intent form a few months ago. The company recently provided an update on their vehicle, which is currently at the Delta phase, and it also invited more dependable investors to consider investing in Aptera. Hi, this is Echo Electric, where we talk about all things concerning EVs. Remember to like the video. If you're enjoying our content, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to stay connected. Before we get into the video, I'd like to pass on a special message regarding one of our core team members here at Echo Electric. Lewin is a founding writer and editor here at Echo Electric. He is a sickler and has lost two siblings to this disease. Lewin has battled the dreaded sickle cell disease all his life, and his health keeps deteriorating as the days go by. Despite the severe, debilitating pain episodes, frequent hospitalization, and bed rest recommendations, Lewin still puts up with creating the unique content we put out here. Lewin is indeed a fighter, and the best we can do for him as a team is to help him stay healthy. Lewin's health can be completely restored with a bone marrow transplant and a bilateral hip replacement. So we call on all our audience and fans to donate and see that he gets these surgeries. We'll really wish that he stays healthy. We hope you'll want that too. Please check out his GoFundMe campaign in the description below. The startup will also arrange a webinar in January led by the company's founders, Chris Anthony and Steve Fambro, in which it intends to address as many concerns as possible, with the intention of increasing the trust of both potential purchasers and investors. The design of the three-wheeler has not yet been completed. Aptura's engineers are now finalizing the vehicle's structural components. After the two companies signed an agreement last month, these will be manufactured in Italy by the CPC Group. The Italian composite specialist will create components that will then be fixed to the vehicle's body panels which will be made from carbon fiber sheet molding compound and glass sheet molding compound, as explained in the video. After a demonstrated an animation showing several of the three mechanical wheelers' components and how they interact to form the vehicle's basic body and running gear. The design looks to be very similar to the Gamma prototype seen a few months ago. However, we anticipate that adjustments have been done under the skin. The company is still hoping to start deliveries in 2023 but not in the first half of the year as previously anticipated. It is noted that, even at the Delta stage, the vehicle must still pass crash testing, systems integration must be completed, and the design must be finished before the vehicle can be validated and eventually enter production. It was stated in October that the solar components for the Aptera car were already in production, albeit this does not necessarily imply that the vehicle will begin rolling off the assembly line. Sandy Munro, who recently featured in a video on the Aptera YouTube channel, stating the business was creating a new industry, alluding to the solar electric car sector, was engaged to assist improve the company's appeal. Sandy has a high reputation, and his opinions are well regarded within the auto sector. Sandy Munro said in the video that he believes Aptera and its solar electric three-wheeler are exceptional claiming that it is the electric car that will appeal to people who would not otherwise consider one. Aptera is entering a market that's totally unique. I don't even want to call it a vehicle. I want to call it Aptera because all, the only thing you're going to see in the marketplace like this is an Aptera. It, it has created a new, a new industry. Now, I, uh, I differ a little bit with um, Chris and Steve in that I think that uh, the launch of the product is going to go much faster and that the volumes are going to be much higher than what they're projecting right now. And, um, and as my wife likes to say, I'm always right. <laughs> the automotive engineer, who was famous for disassembling electric vehicles from startups such as Tesla, Rivian, and others in order to see how they work and suggest improvements to their technologies believes Aptera's sales projections for the next few years are somewhat conservative, and that the startup will end up with more orders than it is currently predicting. Aptera now has 47,000 reservations for their solar EVs, 
but Sandy believes that figure will grow once the car is out and people experience and grasp what it is all about. Furthermore, the fact that it charges from the sun makes the ownership experience less expensive and less stressful for clients. Sandy feels that this will be the game-changing feature that attracts purchasers. He sees the three-wheeler SUV as a new type of vehicle with a unique set of characteristics that will immediately make it popular. He observes that when he discusses the Aptera with his more affluent contacts, they all agree that it is the ideal car for their summer vacation houses, where they can simply drive around on solar power and not have to worry about charging as much as they would with ordinary EVs. So, what do you think about this new exciting Aptera update? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Again, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this coming in the future. And if you feel touched to contribute to Lewin's treatment, don't forget to check out the GoFundMe page in the description below. Thank you, and thanks for watching. Aptera is entering a market that's totally unique. I don't even want to call it a vehicle. I want to call it Aptera because all, the only thing you're going to see in the marketplace like this is an Aptera. It, it has created a new, a new industry. Now, I, uh, I differ a little bit with um, Chris and Steve in that I think that uh, the launch of the product is gonna go much faster and that the volumes are gonna be much higher than what they're projecting right now. And, um, and as my wife likes to say, I'm always right. <laughs> so I've been asked to talk about um, market development and market market growth by a number of different OEM executives. I've uh, I've talked with Elon Musk. I've talked with Jim Farley. I've talked with pretty much everybody that's um, in the EV business in the auto world. Uh, I have uh, expressed my view and said that by 2028 we'll be looking at. A market that's 50-50. In other words, 50% of the cars manufactured and sold will be ICE and 50% of those cars will be EVs, uh, BEVs. I think that I'm right. In fact, I know I'm right. I put lots of effort in the studies and um, I'm outperforming certainly Bloomberg and Wall Street Journal and uh, even, even the big uh, consulting houses. I've been right quite a bit. And I'm saying that uh, after we connect with 5% EV sales, in other words, the market share is 5% for either BEV or hybrid, once that happens, it'll double every year. So this year we're at 5%, maybe a little bit more. Next year it'll be 10, the year after it'll be 20. And not everybody is going to be able to afford a 65 or $75,000 vehicle. I believe that the Aptera is going to take a significantly bigger bite out of the market share than it's being projected right now. I know that I've talked to a few, I know quite a few people who are wealthy. And when I show them the Aptera and talk about it a little bit, they're saying, oh, that's the perfect car for my house in Florida or my house in California or my house in Texas, wherever. Any of, these, uh, any of these states that are below the Mason-Dixon line. So that's one market. The other market is the young market. The 15-year-old is going to be looking for his first or her first car when they're about 20. And at 33,000, today's money, 33,000 versus today's money, 65,000, which one can they afford? Which one are they gonna want? Which one is a smart kid going to want that doesn't cost him fuel, doesn't cost him gas. Aptera, it's free. As long as the sun is shining, and I believe that it's going to be shining for at least a billion or so years, so that's long after we're all dead, I think that it's the right move for anyone who's young and really and truly uh, wants to uh, live their life a little bit more fuller than uh, work, 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 buy gasoline, work, 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 buy gasoline, work, 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 buy gasoline. I think that uh, that premise is going to be, uh, it'll be a, a footnote in history.